I thought you would like that. Why would I like a flower? Well, obviously they thought they would like us, but they think of you to see a pretty little girl here. Like, let me put a flower. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be in this. See? Thanks, man. Oh, yeah, right. I guess we're in it. Yeah. Oh, hey. Let me make sure. Let me make sure the angle's right here. Scoot over, Dad. Wait, wait, I was in the middle. Okay, I'll film the whole thing. You're gonna film it? You're not gonna film it? I'm just making sure it's gonna go. Yeah, Alright. <laughs> okay, I'll be okay. The Mountain Dew, right? Yes. Okay, first question. I feel like we're talking about I feel like tornadoes. I'm gonna be confused. What advice would you give college students pursuing a music career? Wow, I never got that one. Like, college I'd, students. I'd, yeah, I'd that's really cool. Keep on doing your things. Keep pooping and uh, be way. <laughs> no, um, if, you're, if you're in college, they have a bunch of music classes that you can take. Yeah. So definitely take those. But if you're really just trying to do it, like right away, I say put yourself out there. Put videos of yourself. Tell everybody. Yeah, yeah. I like that, 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 that is like there's especially if you're going to college. There's so many people that you can meet. That there's, there's so many people that probably play instruments. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you can get a band together, jam, and it's gonna be all about yourself. It's gonna be all about you know doing more than the curriculum. You know, going out there. And do, making things happen yourself. I think it's a lot, a lot of, more than just like learning it at school. Man, I think, yeah. we, I think, like, we, I think like, us as yeah. a band, we found that you just listen to a lot of music. Go back, listen to everything, start from the beginning, and move your way forward. And keep time where it is now. If I was, if I, if I were in college and I was playing, I would probably like just like open mic nights. I'd probably just do that. I probably like, wouldn't do that because I'm nervous and I suck. So. We're, and we're always like watching ourselves on YouTube, making sure that we're getting better and seeing like kind of what progress, we're like like. Critiquing ourselves and like trying not to not too ourselves. hard though. Just love yourself, but critique yourself. At the same time. Yeah, just practice. Just, just have, have fun watching yeah, yourself grow. Know what I'm about. Right? Yeah, Mike, but you said a bunch of things right now that I was like, <laughs> yeah. I'm saying if you if you watched the video, I was watching you, and I had no idea what you were doing. <laughs> You said that at one point, you're like, you just need to get there, and then you're gonna go here, and then you need to go no, back. About the think music about time it. period. Yeah. Really, people, what we do and what everybody does, I think listen to the music now, but now that they're done with that, you go back, you're done. Yeah. That's what everyone does. As it grows, I think you guys are a cute couple. Uh, uh, well, anyways. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, moving on. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Okay. sorry about that. It's okay. <laughs> Alright, what prior jobs did you guys have? Well, I, uh, I never really had a real job. I applied for like a million, but nobody ever accepted me because I'm black. He actually but, gave my um, sister a guitar lesson. I gave a, I gave a lot of guitar lessons. <laughs> I gave at least like seven, I keep talking about like seven or eight students. And... <laughs> okay, so I'm just kidding about the black part. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> next question. Um, I worked at a, like a furniture place for <laughs> my first job. And then I worked at an electronic store. And an office yeah. supply store as well. Just really boring <laughs> jobs, you know. It's boring. Making like two dollars an hour. So. I worked. Really? I worked at an elementary school at an after-school program where I was like a, an aide. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Both like kids. Both like kids. Oh my yeah. god. I hate kids. So there you go. I love kids. Do you have a grandma? If you live with your grandma, then we would pretty much be the same. Like literally, everybody has a grandma. I know, Zach. I know you're going for Zach. High five. A for effort, dude. Got your back. You look like you're spinning game on her right now. That's how I feel. It's the body. You guys are just making this awkward interview. Go ahead. Go ahead. Next question. No, they still have to answer. Honestly, I have the same job Cameron did. Hold your bag. Okay. What's up, Shorty? Megan like Ninja wants to know what inspired Megan your like Ninja? Yeah, that's Twitter. Twitter. She wants to know what inspired the dreads. That's so funny. Bob Marley. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I, I'm sure Bob Marley had a little bit to do with it. Uh, I'm always, I don't know, I always like experimenting just doing different things and I had an afro at the time. I thought it'd be a lot cooler, like, especially if thing would be in a band and get serious if I had dreads. Mm -hmm. I have something to kind of, like, shake on the stage. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's yeah, you know, I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear And that looks hilarious. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a captain tag. Next kind of question. Come on. Next question. Alright. Um, East Coast All Star wants to know what's your favorite movie candy? So the whole East Coast? My favorite movie, what? <laughs> candy. Maybe oh, uh, no duds. Popcorn cap? Uh, no duds. Yeah. Uh, bunch of crunch. I've actually never well, had it. No duds is really good. It's just there. No duds, you'll spend like, you'll spend like oh, 10 minutes on one. I see. Duds. I see. Sour Patch Kids. Pretzels. Bunch of crunch. It's, it's all good. Sour Patch Kids. What about egg rolls? Oh. Oh, that's an interesting one. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, actually, my favorite thing to eat in the movie theater is Pat and Oscar's breadsticks. I don't know if you guys know what those are. So you gotta sneak them in, and that's why I like them because you gotta be kind of mysterious. Pat and Oscar's breadsticks are so good. Because Pat and Oscar's right next to Edwards. Exactly. Yeah. And they put them in like your stepmom's purse. Yeah. Do you like when you were younger? Did your mom ever like? You were so like. Did your mom ever? Kim, I feel like your mom would do this. Did she ever like have big fat Ziploc baggies of like your pre sons popcorn and like oh, oh pop the whole snack sure. and popcorn? And yeah. then you go to Seven and then you go to Mobile and you get your chocolate like, and you put it on top of your popcorn. You sit down at the theater and be next to the cutest girls. Your mom would pass out. Oh my goodies. Like, oh my yeah, god, this is now. Like so, everybody, so everybody has the cool movie food that they bought at the, yeah. at the bar. And yeah. Your mom, and you, here's a Capri Sun for you. I brought your favorite. I'm like, oh my like, god. Hey, pass the Capri Sun and, and the Jimmy Bob is down and they. You're not even supposed to bring it in the movie theater. Yeah. Cause they're like, they try to be all cool, like, oh, we are not get food. <laughs> it's embarrassing. But honey, back in my days, this is the <laughs> Got some teddy bears for you, Kim. <laughs> my mom, my mom wouldn't even go. Yeah, Zach, remember for my birthday, we tried to sneak into that movie, and we just got too scared, and oh, we didn't yeah. do it? We watched the Alamo. Sounds so not fun. fun. <laughs> it wasn't. We were going to go see Girl Next Door, but we got too scared, so we went and saw the Alamo. Alamo <laughs> was actually pretty good. <laughs> Was, but I do going to see Girl Next well, Door. Well, I didn't actually want. Well, I, I did. I did sneak into the movie eventually. That movie didn't. I think. I think it was like three of us that actually did at the very end. Yeah, we saw the end. The of very it. end. All right. All right. She's like, shut up, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna do the joke, by the way. Okay. All right. Uh -oh. So, well, first of all, did you guys find the booty you were looking for? I'm still uh, searching. We're still searching. No. Well, it was there was there was a lot of weird searching booty last night, and, and Michael. Dylan and I found some booty, but everyone was fighting over the booty. And you I, I mean, how often do you Michael, find gold coins? Yeah. You know, Michael, you should just let Dylan have the booty. I mean, I'm just Dylan kidding. rarely gets cash, so I felt like he deserved it. But no, Michael, at the end of the day, let's, let's, when I step let in the room, speak. let me when speak. I step in the room, you know I'm gonna take it. You this know, thing is, so Michael, even Michael's a true pirate, and he's gonna do, even if he's your friend, he's Michael. still gonna whip out a sword. I am. They're gonna try to cut I you am. I am. And I will just snatch anything. You always take it too far. You always take it too far, Karen. <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah, so that's how it really goes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, if you were a pirate, would you have your parent on this shoulder or this shoulder? Oh! Ah! 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 That was good. Uber right there. That's fine. That's good. Like right here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Name one random fact about you or another band member that we wouldn't expect, that we don't already so know. Camera yeah, like, yeah, likes to poop with the door open. Oh my that's, gosh! That's a lie! <laughs> you just made that up trying to make me look bad. Because <laughs> that does really like it up. Hey man, don't talk about like that. Though, no, um, <laughs> I think, <laughs> I think Zach and Kim are secretly obsessed with Star Wars. Or they once were. I no, I, I was... Oh, I would definitely want Yeah, I definitely like Star Wars. You like it, but... Um, I didn't obsess with it. That's something we would expect. I was, I was obsessed with it. I have over 160 what? Star Wars figures. That's kind of something that we would expect. Oh, I'm, I'm, uh, Michael does have a lightsaber. The originals. And have okay, some. okay. Um, okay, don't get totally it. Michael, Michael's actually... Michael, from what I've heard, is a pretty good cook. Yeah. I could vouch for that. Okay. I can vouch for that. I can't really... I'm not good at cupcakes yet, though. You're not, you're not a good baker. Cookies. I can't ever do cookies. You, you can't bake. The I love the thing is you can't bake. But, you're, you're but I can bake like casserole. You're rice man. Baking? No, baking I can like... bake like, I can grill too. I just can't like, I can't wrap my head around Dude, I just can't take you seriously right now. Like, you're wearing a bib. No, no, like, yeah, no, no. But when you look it's at the cookies, cake. my mom's like, you have to take them out before they even look done. And I just yeah. don't yeah, get that. I don't get yeah, it. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't get it. I can't tell when to take it out then because it always just looks yeah. not bad. Something yeah. secret about Nathan. Nathan has a dog with hair exactly like his. You never knew that? That's not a secret. Oh. <laughs> Jesse did know that. Um, wow, how did I go from here? Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you got me. Um, Nathan has a pink razor scooter. I do. That's yeah. part of that Walmart. I was there. Razor scooter. Watch your question. Sixth grade. Oh, uh, I don't know, like the moment, but like that the year was just great. Sixth grade camp. Um, Sixth grade I, camp. Mm. Was, I think Queen of Mac, baby. Right, yep. Queen right Mac after Mac. I left. Woo! Okay, okay, Sixth grade, Sixth grade camp. Sixth grade camp. Right after I left, I said, "This is the week I will always want always to come back remember. to." You always remember. Always remember. Yeah. No matter what happens. Also, even also, even also, now also, that we're rock remember. stars, even now the rock stars, and maybe like in the future we will want to come back to this. It will always be sixth grade. 
camp forever. Like, like I, I loved it, but it just, wasn't amazing. No, but there's just a feeling. It's just, you're sixth grade, man. You're, this is like the first time the, you went somewhere. I was just like away from the first, Yeah, that was the first your time. Parents weren't there. At I was all. so scared. Like, I was like, no what control. do I do? They had no control because like no one really had like a cell phone yet. It was like, kind of like sixth grade, so no one had a cell phone. No, yeah, I was just like away from them, you know. I think I found them with some girl. I think I got like my first like real legitimate girlfriend. I remember. I remember this guy. I felt so bad for him with the bed like two nights. Oh, poor guy. And he had to take super fast showers. Yeah. And I fell out of my bunk. I was on the top bunk, and I was in the I was in the courts. Air, you know the courts den. Ah, oh, me too. You too. No. Oh, no way. Well, oh yeah. God. I was on the top bunk, and my bunk didn't have the bar, so I rolled off and fell in the courts den. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. So you were in the den when you walk in. I was right here. To the left. Oh. <laughs>